Imagine turning a single image into a complete video in just minutes. In a kingdom on the edge of war, hope rests in the hands of one warrior princess. This land is not theirs to claim. A complete video with flawless lip sync, sound effects, and consistent characters, all in just minutes. Thanks to Google's latest VO3 update, that's now possible. In this video, I'll walk you step by step. How to generate your character image, animate it using Google VO3, and finally, how to polish everything into a professional video like the one you just saw. But the big question is, can these kinds of AI-generated animations be monetized on YouTube? The answer is yes, but only if your videos follow YouTube's monetization policies. This means your content should be original, provide value, include your own creative input such as editing, narration, or storytelling, and not just be raw AI output. As long as you add enough originality and context, AI-assisted animations are eligible for monetization. So what are we waiting for? Let's jump right in. Before we dive in, if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos on animation making. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with your friends. Step 1. Generating Character To create an extraordinary character for our project, I'll be using Piclumen. Simply go to Piclumen. Piclumen is a free AI image generator that lets you convert text prompts or images into detailed visuals. It has multiple fine-tuned models and styles like Reality V2, Anime V2, Lineart V1, Flux, Schnell, and many more. So you can choose different looks depending on what you want. There is a free plan. You get daily lumens, credits, unlimited slower or relaxed mode generation, and access to many useful tools. So you can experiment without paying, which is very useful when you're starting or testing ideas. But even with a free plan, remember there are limits. Example, fast generations per day or advanced tools may be behind paid tiers. To get started with Piclumen, click Generate for Free. If it's your first time using the app, you'll need to sign up with your email account. If you're a returning user, a pop-up will appear. Just click Claim to receive your free lumens for the day, which you can use for image generation. To start creating an image in Piclumen, click Create, and the image generator page will open. Type your prompts in the text box. I already prepared one, so I'll just paste it here. Be sure to give specific details about your character, such as style, clothing colors, skin tone, eye color, and any accessories to keep your design clear and consistent. Next, choose the model you want to use. Piclumen offers different styles such as Reality V2, Anime V2, Lineart V1, Flux.1 Schnell, Pony Diffusion V6, Namiya, and more. For this project, I'll select Flux 1 Dev and then click Select Model. After that, choose the aspect ratio. I'll go with 16 by 9 landscape format, then set the number of outputs to 2, so it generates two images at the same time. Once everything is ready, click Generate. After a few seconds, Piclumen will generate two beautiful character images. Preview them, choose the one you prefer, then click the down arrow on the right side of the image to download it to your computer. Step 2. Generating Story To generate a story from a single image, I'll be using ChatGPT. We'll be creating a story here in ChatGPT. As you can see, I'm using a free account, and I just want to show you that even with a free account, you can still produce a great story in ChatGPT. To create a story from a single image in ChatGPT, first click a plus sign and upload your image. Then, ask ChatGPT to generate a story. For example, here's what I asked. Can you create a one-minute story trailer for this character with nine scenes where she delivers a bold statement? Then hit Generate, and in just a few seconds, ChatGPT will create a one-minute cinematic story trailer, complete with scene prompts, camera movements, narration, and character dialogue. After that, let ChatGPT know which AI application you'll be using to animate the story, so it can tailor the prompts specifically for that tool. So, I asked ChatGPT again and typed, Using Google VO3, animate this character based on the scenes. Make the prompts detailed and include the dialogue. Then I clicked Generate, and within a few seconds, ChatGPT provided more concise prompts for each scene, covering shot style and camera movement, environment and lighting, character actions and expressions, and finally, the dialogue and narration. Step 3. Animating Character To animate the scenes and bring the character to life, I'll be using Google Flow. To access Google Flow, 
Simply search for Flow in your browser, then go to Google Labs where you'll find Flow, click on it, and the Google Flow page will open. Then select Create with Flow to get started. If this is your first time, you'll need to sign up with your email. If you've used it before, simply log in to your account. To start generating a video in Google Flow, click the small arrow here to select a video generation mode you want to use. Text to video, simply type what you want to create, or paste your prepared text prompts, and VO will make a video from your description. Frames to video. Use this mode if you already have an existing image. Upload one or more images, frames, and VO will animate them into a moving video. Ingredients to video. Provide ingredients such as characters, props, or objects, and VO will reuse them across videos, ensuring everything looks consistent. Since we already have an existing image and I want Google VO3 to create a video from that single image, I will select Frames to Video. Then go to Settings and set your aspect ratio. For a movie trailer like my project today, I will select 16 by 9 landscape format. Next, under Output per Prompt, choose how many videos will be created per prompt generation. I'll select two. In the model option, you can choose between VO3, fast, and VO3, quality. VO3, quality, slower rendering time, but offers higher detail, more refined textures, polished lighting effects, and an overall more cinematic look. Best when quality matters most, but it's also more expensive. While VO3, fast, much quicker output using the same prompt. Delivers good quality, impressive for quick drafts, faster iterations, or social media content and more cost efficient. I will select VO3 fast because it gives me quicker output with good quality results. As you can see, these settings cost 20 credits, but don't worry, I created this video completely free. Later, I'll explain how I was able to generate videos smoothly using a free account. Now that all our settings are complete, it's time to generate the video. Since we're using frames to video, we need to upload our image here. Once the image is uploaded, click Crop and Save. Then, go back to ChatGPT and copy the prompt for our first scene, including the narrator's voiceover statement. Paste it into the text box on Google Flow and hit Generate. After a few seconds, Google VO3 will create two videos using our input prompt and uploaded image. Let's play both videos to see which one works best for our trailer. In a kingdom on the edge of war, Hope rests in the hands of one warrior princess. In a kingdom on the edge of war, hope rests in the hands of one warrior princess. As you can see, the first video gives us the best results, so we'll download it. But before downloading, we should upscale it. Upscaling is important because it enhances the video resolution, making it sharper, clearer, and more professional looking. This ensures our trailer maintains high quality, especially if we plan to use it for bigger screens or final production. After the upscaling is complete, download the video and save it to your computer. Next, let's animate the second scene prompt. Just copy the prompt and paste it into the text box in Google Flow, VO3. Then add the image along with the prompt. Since we already uploaded it, you can easily access it here. After that, click Generate. In just a few seconds, the video will be created. Let's watch it to see if it aligns with our story. I will not be silenced. I will not be silenced. You can also download the video if you want to include it in your project. But don't forget to upscale it before downloading to ensure better quality. Now continue animating all the scene prompts by simply repeating the same process. I'll fast forward my animation steps here to save time. Here are the video clips we created in Google Flow, VO3. And the best part? I was able to create all of these videos for free. Normally, Google VO3 is a paid app per generation. But here's the catch. If you want to try it for your own animations, Google VO3 actually gives new users with a personal Google account, aged or 18. In a supported country, get 100 monthly AI credits to use and flow in VO3. 
VO3 Fast costs 20 credits per video. This means if you generate two videos at once, you can do that three times and giving you two videos, same scene, and then one final video. However, if you generate just one video at a time, you can create five different scene videos with your 100 credits. Fear ends today. By using three different email accounts, you can get a total of 300 free credits, enough to animate your entire project. Now that all our scene animations are done, the next step is video editing. Step four, video editing. To combine everything into one seamless video trailer, I'll be using CapCut. To start editing in CapCut, first import all the video clips we created in Google VO3, then drag them into the timeline. Next, turn off the main track magnet so you can freely move the clips around. And set the aspect ratio to 16 by nine landscape, since this format is ideal for YouTube long videos. As you can see, there's a VO mark in the lower right corner of the video. This appears because we're using free or trial credits to create it. To remove it, simply highlight all the clips, then increase the scale slightly, and reposition the video until the mark is no longer visible. We're about to move on to editing the video content, but before that, I want to share some important tips to help you avoid monetization issues on YouTube, since this is AI-generated content. YouTube has become stricter with AI, so here are the key points to keep in mind when creating stories with AI apps. Be original. Add your own ideas, don't just upload raw AI output. Edit well, use an editor like CapCut, Movavi, Filmora to add music, effects, subtitles, and pacing. Consistent characters. Keep characters the same across scenes. Make sure the story flows logically. YouTube checks for low effort AI compilations. Add voice narration. Use your own voice or at least customizing AI voice helps prove originality. Add commentary, storytelling, or unique narration instead of silent AI clips. Avoid copyrighted music. Only use royalty-free or YouTube audio library tracks. Provide value. Make it entertaining, emotional, or educational. AI-generated content is allowed, but your project should be original, well-edited, and valuable, not just raw AI output. Avoid low-quality or repetitive animations, as these may be flagged as spammy or reused content. Now let's begin editing! This is where we add a twist to the story generated by ChatGPT. As you can see, the video clips are arranged in the same sequence as the story, but we won't strictly follow that order. Instead, we'll rearrange them to create a fresh and unique presentation of the story. So watch closely as I show you how it's done. So first, I move all the video clips aside to give myself space to start building the video from the beginning. Then, I selected a few video clips and extracted their audio. Then, I trimmed the clips and kept only the parts I wanted to include in the intro scene. After that, I combined the clips to create a strong and engaging intro for the story. I then started adding sound effects like sword clashes and forging sounds to create a more realistic atmosphere for the scene. Now let's hit preview to see how it looks. In a kingdom on the edge of war, hope rests in the hands of one warrior princess. Now I'll arrange the video according to the flow I want, rather than strictly following the story from ChatGPT. Some clips already have voiceovers, so I extracted the audio from certain videos and combined it with others, just like I did at the beginning. While arranging them chronologically, I'm also adding suspenseful sound effects beneath the video clips to build tension and enhance the mood. Then, I added a default text at the end of the video and changed it to the title of the story. I styled it with text effects and animations and arranged it properly on the preview screen. Below the title, I added coming soon to complete the movie trailer look. To make it more engaging, I applied an entrance animation to the text. And finally, I added a voiceover using CapCut's text to speech tool. Then, I added long, suspenseful action sound effects beneath the clips to make the video feel more realistic and create a stronger atmosphere. 
I trimmed the sound effect where the voiceover appears and lowered its volume so that the character's voice and narration stand out clearly in the video. After that, we're done. Preview your project to check for any errors in the video. If you spot mistakes, adjust the clips right away. In a kingdom on the edge of war, hope rests in the hands of one warrior princess. This land is not theirs to claim. I will not be silenced. Once everything looks good, it's time to export the project. Click export, then type in the file name for your video. Choose the folder where you want to save it, set the resolution to 1080p, and select MP4 as the format. Finally, click export and wait for your project to finish processing. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the video we've created together. In a kingdom on the edge of war, hope rests in the hands of one warrior princess. This land is not theirs to claim. I will not be silenced. I was born to fight for my people, and I will never surrender. Stand with me, and we will not fall. Fear ends today. Her courage will ignite a kingdom. She carries the bloodline of kings, but the heart of a fighter. And her name will be remembered forever. To Princess of Valor, coming soon. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Check out our other videos too.